So everyone is trying to explore within generative AI what works and what doesn't work. And we've, we, we're seeing within, um, uh, you know, pre-visit summarization, the generative AI, uh, AI does a pretty good job of that. We're seeing that with post-visit summarization. Generative AI does a pretty good job with that. Uh, ambient voice, generative AI does a pretty good job with that. Um, so we're starting to see uh, use cases pop up of, hey, this is, has really good application as it relates to generative AI, and we think it does for medical billing and for other use cases as well. But the really tricky part is moving from, yeah, this works, to will this work over time in a consistent way? We're healthcare, we're scientists. So it not only needs to work today, it needs to work next week, two weeks from now, two years from now, five years from now. And we need to be able to test and verify that they're working in the same way that we thought they would when we implemented it. So that governance piece is so much more critical in healthcare than perhaps it is uh, in other industries. But you can read in the newspaper the, the the, or, the organizations that may have forgotten that little bit and piece. Um, you know, I was reading in the newspaper uh, about an airline uh, that implemented generative AI as part of their chatbot, and we, we're, it was essentially giving away free tickets and giving away um, uh, uh, airline tickets that they shouldn't have, that, that actually went against the policy but they didn't have the proper governance or guardrails around what the responses were to the generative AI output. So as we put these things into production, it's not only important to evaluate, does it work? Because we're validating that these things do work, but what are the guardrails? What's the governance we need to put around it? What's the gov what's, what are the guardrails? What can it respond to? What can it respond to? How do we um, incorporate personas should a doctor get a different response than a nurse, than some other type of caregiver? Developing those personas and providing different outputs based on those personas, all very, very important things to consider. So there's an enormous amount of work that still needs to be put into generative AI, despite its um, initial look at the impact it can have on the industry. Um, there needs, there's an awful lot of work that will go around uh, with that. So we hear the term of, oh, generative AI is going to come and take your job, maybe, <laughs> but then there's all this other work that's going to surround it um, to make sure that it doesn't go off the rails. Um, and so I think it's transformative in nature for sure, but there's, there's all sorts of safeguards that need to be put in place to make sure that um, it's done in, in a responsible way.